What up players, it's Warbots Tear Up In This Mud and I'm doing a video on a review. It's for the Citadel Fine Cast model Dark Eldar Medusa. So I actually got this model in the mail all the way across the pond um, from my good friend on YouTube, Lost Soul1889. Gotta say thank you so much for for trading um, trading this figure for um, and let, letting me add it to my collection. It looks really great and I'm um, gonna do a little review on it now. So it comes in one sprue and it looks like the body is all one piece, the arms are all connected, everything is all connected and you get the choice of two heads, two brain pans which uh, kind of look pretty similar to me if you zone in, zoom in here, maybe we just gotta take it off the sprue and see how different they are but I don't know, I can think of a couple other things I would have used the spare space on the sprue for, uh, maybe some extra things to put on, like decorate their person with, the, the model with, but, oh, what is that? But um, it was an interesting choice to make two heads because I don't know what you would use the other one for. Maybe you could use it as like a spare for um, if you're building up alternate, maybe like Eldar Warlocks or something. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks so weird because they're, you know, they're so obviously distinctly Medusa with the exposed brains and everything. So. Interesting choice, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this baby out now and assemble it and then we'll see if there are any fine cast miscasts. You know how fine cast loves me. So um, we'll see that in a bit. And here's a, something that I noticed from most of the fine cast models is that their tabs have like little extra jutting things out. You got to actually trim with your hobby knife like here you see on the feet to keep them from slotting in directly. Even if you clip them off down here at the tabs, you're going to have to clean them off clean off these little extra bits over there so that's a bummer like a lot of things with fine cast but I, I'm gonna do it and I'm, I'm gonna show you my model with the head that I chose when we get back and here is the finished glued together model I decided to go for the head with the little exposed eye lens in the middle I think that's the one that's on the cover and I just think it looks great um, the flash wasn't so bad. I didn't notice any big fine cast holes in the robe, which was I was most afraid about, but there didn't seem to be any. The main points of the flash that were really hard to remove were the ones on the little studs on the shoulder plates there. Let's see if we can get in a little bit closer to check those out. There, and as you can see, there's this really crazy mold line right there that I'm not sure how I'm going to remove um, right there on the shoulder plate because it kind of is right next to the sh one of the, the center stud and um, it's just gonna be a real problem so oh, you stupid fine cast that's the only really bad mold line though the rest is pretty easy to clean there's just a lot of flash because of all the little fiddly bits but um, quite pleased with the model I think it looks really nice and really cool I think I'm gonna have to add a little bit more glue to the head there it seems like it's gonna come loose so Thanks for watching everybody. Again, thanks to my good friend Lost Soul1889 for, for mailing this over. Um, really, really appreciate it. Can't wait to paint this guy up. I'm probably gonna wait till I paint up a whole lot of my Dark Eldar stuff like the, the Mandrakes and the, the Dark Eldar Battle Force box set that I that I have lying around somewhere. Just do them all together, kind of like a big project like my Project Dwarfs was. But um, thanks so much. Also, I want to say um, I want to give a shout out. Say what's up to uh, one of my, the one of the people that watch my channels. His name is Dan, and he's uh, shipped out last week to the Marine Corps boot camp. And um, I actually heard about this guy from uh, one of my I guess subscribers on MiniWarGaming.com, Gazel Gog. Um, but he he mentioned him in my latest video on how to paint a doom wheel and so I uh, just want to say thanks a lot Dan for serving our country for your service and um, for what you do to keep us safe and so that we have all of our freedoms and stuff everybody in the military much much love to all of you guys and girls out there so okay we will see you in the next video thanks for watching and hope you have a great day